keeping with the historical nature of our earlier visit to Gritviken, where Sir Ernest Shackleton is interred, we landed in Fortuna Bay, where Shackleton arrived after crossing the mountainous range of the island from King Hakon Bay, where he had landed after a 17-day crossing of the Southern Ocean from Elephant Island on the James Curd lifeboat. From there, he would traverse the Stromness by land to reach safety and organize the rescue of all the members of his crew. Fortuna Bay is home to a fairly large colony of king penguins. To reach the colony, we had to walk about three kilometers across the fur seal's terror field. The pups were on guard, practicing sneak attacks on the unwary explorers. While the colony is not as large as the colony at St. Andrew's Bay, we were able to get closer. The closer you get to a densely populated colony, the more difficult it is to choose a subject to photograph. And the camera's autofocus feature doesn't really know what you're trying to select as a subject. I guess there are worse problems to have. I did end up focusing a lot on the molting chicks who had a bit more personality. As it was raining, the penguins' tuxedos were all muddied up and it didn't appear to bother them. The king penguins' chicks are not the prettiest babies in the wildlife world, but their brown baby feathers don't look too dirty when covered in mud. The whole colony seemed to enjoy their afternoon playing in the mud. As we were walking back to the beach, having to cross the terror field again, I couldn't help but think about the courageous endeavor of Shackleton and two of his crew to climb the mountains to reach safety and dispatch a boat to rescue the other three members of the crew who had to stay behind at King Hakon Bay because two of them were not in physical shape to make the land crossing. In the end, all 28 members of the expedition were rescued. Mm -hmm. 